Yo, what up guys? I'm your man Grizzle. Welcome to another episode of Gamers Who Don't Know Shit. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, change your oil on your car. All of them are about the same. They all have an oil pan. All of them have an oil filter. Simple as that. So if you don't know how to do that, this video is for you. Guys, the first thing you want to do is have your car on level ground. That way it's not rolling side to side or up and down. Also, you won't mess up your jack this way. Second thing is you want to get a jack stand. All this shit's made in China, so you can trust it if you want, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to put my jack stand underneath here in case this car wants to go ahead and fall on me. Okay? Alright guys, underneath your car there is an oil pan. This is it, okay? All of them are about the same. All of them have this bolt here you take out. Once you take that out, the oil comes out here. Make sure you have your dram pan sent up here, okay? Also underneath your car, there's an oil filter. Some of them are on top now, but most of them will be like this. Some of them will have a cap on it. You pull out a paper filter, uh, but for this car, this is what you got. All right, guys, so the first thing you do, put your ratchet on here. Most of them are 5 eighths, 9 sixteenths, um, but then you just loosen this bolt up just like this, okay? I already cracked it loose for you guys, so I wouldn't have to mess with the camera. But you uh, spin it off right here, okay? Once you see some of that oil coming out, you're going to put your drain pan underneath of it, and then you take it out. But you got to be quick, okay? You got to be quick, okay? Let's see if I can do it while I'm holding the camera. See, it started dripping. Once you get the screw out that far, it's dripping. I usually try to just one fluid motion. Bam. Right there, baby. All right, once it's done draining, uh, you just put the bolt back in here. Okay. Screw it in. Then you're just going to take your ratchet and tighten it down. Once the oil's done draining, you got to change the filter right here I've already cracked it loose oil pans right over there this is the oil filter it's normally right underneath the motor it's gonna drain a little bit so make sure you have your drain pan underneath here okay you might get a little messy just make sure you undo it you're gonna lay this filter oh, shit. Well, you would have let you would have let it uh, fall in the pan. <laughs> All right, now that the oil filter's off, it's done draining pretty much. Go ahead and screw the uh, new one on here. Maybe. And you only want to do this hand tight. Cause when you go to take it off, sometimes that shit is a pain in the ass. <clears throat> Alright, here's the motor guys. Right here is your oil cap. We're just going to twist that off and you're going to fill it up based off the specifications of your car. I know my car needs five uh, quarts of oil. And then your last step guys, all you got to do is fill it up with oil. <clears throat> All right, guys, that's how you do it. <clears throat> uh, word of advice, don't take your car to uh, the mechanic to have your oil changed. It's like 60 to 80 bucks. Uh, you can go to AutoZone, but that's still going to cost you 40 to 50 bucks. I bought all my stuff on Amazon for $22, okay? And I changed it myself. So you can do the math. Uh, if you got money to blow, then fuck it. Uh, but as always, don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you had a problem... Or you have a different kind of car than this. Something's a little different. Let me know in the comments and I will help you out. Till next time guys.